It's my pleasure to introduce Senate Republican Leader Josh Penry. Yes. Uh, Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to keep it brief because there are a number of other folks uh, who are going to say a few words. Uh, yesterday in my hometown of Grand Junction, it was uh, a pleasure for me to endorse Scott McGinnis to be the next governor of the great state of Colorado. Um, and Scott was generous enough to offer to buy some of my excess office supplies. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I said it then, and I'll say it now, and I'll say it over the coming 11 months. Uh, this election matters. It's bigger than <coughs> personalities, personal ambitions, or the political chase. This is about whether we move Colorado forward or whether we allow Bill Ritter to take us back for four right. more years. That's right, What's taken place over the last couple of weeks um, with the help of a number of people on this stage is an effort to depersonalize it and focus on what makes Republicans strong, our message, our values, our vision, our direction for taking uh, this state. And what results is the uh, platform for prosperity that is before you uh, today. I want to commend um, all the people on this stage, in particular uh, Tom Tancredo um, and the legislators who are up there for bringing ideas to the fore, and also uh, to Scott for bringing his own ideas and allowing the expertise on this stage, uh, stage this morning and elsewhere uh, to shape his agenda, and it is a strong agenda. It's an agenda that not only will carry us in a Republican primary, it is an agenda that will win in places like Jefferson County and Arapahoe County, suburban areas that have been skeptical. <laughs> Say, well, well how, how do you know? Well, the, the fact is, it just played out in Virginia. It just played out in Virginia. We won, Republicans won, because we ran on a strong conservative reform uh, agenda, and that's what this uh, document embodies. It also reads uh, like a bright line contrast to the last three and a half years of Bill Ritter. I'm glad Scott asked the question. We are not better off than we were when Bill Ritter became governor. Jobs, 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 returning Colorado to prosperity, a plan to get this economy moving forward. Compare that to the economy right now, unemployment at a 60-year high. Restoring common sense to Colorado's budget, a billion dollars in taxes and fees, repealing spending limit, ve veering us onto the same reckless fiscal path that sunk California into political chaos. That's Bill Ritter's record. Uh, Scott McGinnis's agenda, our agenda, is to restore common sense and discipline. Reforming government and challenging the status quo, thousands of new hires, uh, 2,000 new hires with a hiring freeze in place. It just defies common sense. It defies understanding. We've got a clear plan to restore some common sense uh, to the way government does business. And that's why I'm excited to be here. That's why I'm honored uh, to endorse Scott McGinnis. It's not just about winning for winning's sake. It's about winning for the, for the opportunity to govern, to lead, and to move Colorado in the right direction again. Scott's going to do it. I'll tell you what else, though. Um, we're not stopping there. Bill Ritter is priority one, but we're going to go back and we're going to win right. seats in the House. And the <laughs> Bottom line, Bill Ritter can call all the press conference he wants, but we're coming, we're unified, and yes. the Republicans are going to win. In yes. 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 